having four days before your government kills you. Not because of undeniable proof, but because two paid witnesses who weren't even at the scene say that you committed a heinous crime. There's no DNA connecting you to the crime. There's no hard evidence. And your lawyers are asked, not because they're idiots, but because they can't handle their workload, which they have no control over. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening to Marcellus Williams, who has been on death row for 24 years. Not a single fingerprint, a strand of hair, or a drop of his DNA connects him to the murder that he has been convicted of. In fact, they found DNA on the murder weapon, and it literally wasn't his. It was someone else's. Yet somehow, despite all of this, he's scheduled to be executed on September 24th, 2024. And here's the wild part. The only evidence used to convict him is paid testimony. Witnesses got paid $10,000 to say he did it, and their stories didn't even line up. This is called incentivized informant testimony and is a leading contributor to wrongful convictions in the United States. Meanwhile, the prosecuting attorney, not the attorney representing Marcellus. The attorney prosecuting Marcellus filed a motion to vacate the conviction because the forensic evidence says Marcellus isn't the guy. Three independent DNA experts backed him up. Even the victim's own family is saying they don't want Marcellus executed. And yet, Missouri's attorney general and Supreme Court are pushing forward with this execution like they're racing against the fucking clock. And as you guys can see, the guy in the picture here is Marcellus Williams. He is scheduled to be executed the 24th of September. So actually, at this time, it'll be the next day after this video is posted. The thing that makes this, this situation touchy is this is a guy who doesn't have any evidence, doesn't have any DNA, doesn't have anything resulting back to him as being a suspect in the murder. Now, the person that was in question that was murdered, is uh, Felicia Gill. Uh, condolences to her and her family. She was on, uh, back in 1998, she was a reporter with the St. Louis Post. She was stabbed 43 times with a kitchen knife from her, from her kitchen. Now, the thing about it is, Marcellus Williams, he, at the time, was only arrested because he was found to have uh, stolen property or a laptop that belonged to Miss Miss Gill. Um, as you can see, as you heard from the, the video leading up to where we are now, there's no evidence, and just kind of get you some facts from the case. Let's go ahead and check some out. So he was convicted of the 1998 murder of Felicia Gill, a former Missouri journalist in St. Louis, Missouri. His conviction heavily relied on testimony from jailhouse informants, factor commonly associated with wrongful convictions. DNA evidence, however, has since revealed that Williams' DNA does not match the DNA that was found on the murder weapon. Despite this, courts have not fully reconsidered his conviction and efforts to exonerate him have been complicated by political and legal battles. 2017, after the DNA testing excluded Williams as a source of the DNA of the we weapon, at the time, Governor Eric Greitens halted his execution and formed a board of inquiry to further investigate the case. However, this board was dissolved without a final report. Concurrent Missouri officials, including Governor Mike Parsons, have pursued setting new execution dates despite the evidence. A plea deal for life without parole was briefly considered but withdrawn. William now faces a scheduled execution, September 24, 2024. Now, as you see, the thing that's crazy about this whole situation is you have a man that's scheduled to be executed uh, possibly as early as uh, Tuesday this, this upcoming week. There's no evidence that's been linked to him. Uh, the two witnesses that they have actually came forward, didn't come forward until... Miss Felicia's husband offered a ten thousand dollar reward. One of the witnesses happened to be a cellmate of uh, Mr. Williams, who at the time was already released from prison and found out that there was reward money that that was being offered up by the victim's uh, the victim's husband. Ten thousand dollar reward. Second witness happened to be Marcellus's girlfriend at the time, who also came forward when she heard that there was money being involved or money being offered up 
as a reward. Now, mind you, neither one of these people were even in the scene or part of the original case until there was money involvement. Uh, Marcellus's girlfriend actually is the one who provided him the laptop that he was ultimately tied back to as having to be owned by Miss Gale. Now, you know, things happen. People end up with stolen property all the time. But the thing is, how's a man being arrested for something that he didn't do? And the evidence that you did tie him back to is a laptop that was provided to him by his girlfriend, who also worked with officials and took reward money to say, hey, it was him. The other guy uh, can't really consider him credible either. He was a convicted felon as well, out on jail, recently released. Had nothing to do with the crime, but claimed that Marcellus admitted to everything to him and while they were locked up in jail. St. Louis and I rise today to say that state-sanctioned violence has no place in a humane society. Next Tuesday, Marcellus Khalifa Williams is scheduled to be executed for a crime he didn't commit. Despite credible evidence of Williams' innocence and mass scrutiny over the fairness of this trial, Missouri Governor Mike Parson and the courts have yet to stop an innocent man from being executed. Within the last four decades, only four individuals on death row have been exonerated in Missouri. Since 1973, at least 200 people have been exonerated from death row in the U.S. A 2014 study estimated that at least 4% of those sentenced to death are innocent, a majority of whom are black and brown. I am urging Governor Parson not to let another innocent man be murdered at the hands of the state. He must heed this call. And as a proud co-sponsor of the Federal Death Penalty Prohibition Act, Congress must also act. Let's end this racist, this flawed and inhumane practice once and for all. Save the life of this innocent man. Thank you and I yield back. And as you can see, there's a ton of people that are that are also agreeing that he's not not guilty as well. Even the prosecuting attorney who was originally pros that prosecuted his his uh, conviction back in 2000, 2001 actually filed a uh, affidavit or a petition to also exonerate him of execution. So tomorrow morning, Monday, uh, they're supposed to be meeting together. The judge that's presiding over the case in the Supreme Court to determine if Mr. Marcellus is should be exonerated from the death penalty or losing his life or losing his life to lethal injection Tuesday. Now, you may ask, what can you guys do to help him in this situation? Time is actually running now, so there is a, there actually is a couple of things that you can do. So here's a, a call script that you can do that you can actually call Governor Mike Parsons to leave a voicemail. Now, his personal voicemail is full, but there is a secondary number that you can call. The number is 573-751-3222. Uh, they are going to ask you to confirm a Missouri uh, zip code. Zip code you can use is 64129. Um, the script goes... Hi, my name is Blank. I am calling regarding Marcellus Williams. I urge Governor Parson to stop the scheduled execution on September 24th. Marcellus Williams is an innocent man. The state of the Missouri has admitted that they has admitted this after reviewing the DNA evidence. Executing an innocent man, executing an innocent individual is not only a stain on morality, but also the egregious wrong that cannot be undone. Now, a little bit more about the evidence. So they did uh, after collecting evidence from the scene they did come up with a, like i said a murder knife that happened to be a knife from miss felicia's kitchen they took blood dna evidence which also didn't link back to marcellus 2001 they also took a dna test and actually as as late as august of this year they did a dna test and they confirmed the dna test that the dna that they did collect in the profile that they built didn't even belong to Mr. Marcellus. Now they went back and they actually linked it to the prosecuting attorney. His excuse was that he probably mishandled the murder weapon and that his that is the only way that his DNA appeared on there. So even then, you know, that's odd. You, you're a prosecuting attorney. Why are you handling a murder weapon outside of the evidence bag? But that's a whole different story. Missouri, I don't know what to say. 
I really feel like they're about to execute a man that's innocent. innocent. So hopefully something happens Monday and he's exonerating from losing his life. Um, if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. Hit that su subscribe button. Leave me a comment down in, in, the, in the description down below or in the comments down below. I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you think this guy's innocent or do you think Missouri has credible claws to, to proceed with his execution? Till next time. Talk to you later.